Hello, everyone. This is the latest world news in America. If you're interested, I'd appreciate your likes and subscriptions. Well it's time for the final installment on the best combat pistols of 2023, and so the fifth place FN FNX 45 Tactical. Yes, another FN with a combat name. The FN FNX Tactical is a combat pistol in an odd colorway. As far as I can tell, it was the first factory pistol with a cutout for optics and several combat features we haven't seen since the early 2000s. It's roughly what we envision a modern combat pistol to look like. The FNX 45 Tactical is a 45 ACP pistol, and unlike most .45 ACP pistols, its magazine capacity does not disappoint. It holds 15 rounds. The .45 ACP was chosen to participate in the Army's joint handgun project. This powerful beast features an optics cutout on top with two slats for mounting and mounting a variety of optics, including old-timers like Trijican RMR sights, Lupal DPP sights, and the Vortex Venom series of optics. You won't have any trouble aiming with the included sights suitable for use with a silencer. I can't help but say that in my opinion, every pistol manufacturer with quick mount optics should have followed FN's lead and included sights suitable for silencer use. The FNX45 is big, heavy, and powerful, and not everyone will like that. It's not the best option for concealed carry, but it's still a good example of a combat pistol. 6th place SIG SAR Legion P226 The Legion P226 is an accurate, reliable ergon- In terms of ergonomics the gun is really good in every sense, although we found the bolt carrier to be a little tight, and that may not be to some people's liking. Nevertheless, the rear grip surface molds to the palm of your hand, and its texture provides a firm grip. The only significant drawback is the price. The gun costs more than $1,300 in the USA. And a Smith Wesson 327 TRR8. This revolver may seem somewhat outdated, but that doesn't mean it's no longer relevant. Legend has it that SW developed the TRR8 for police departments, whose representatives feared that a traditional bolt could catch on special defense equipment, which would cause malfunctioning of the weapon's mechanisms. With this fact in mind, SW designed and produced its own revolver. This massive. 357 Magnum caliber weapon has almost all the necessary features for combat pistols. The revolver comes in a powerful combat cartridge and features plenty of room for mounting accessories. The .357 Magnum cartridge is powerful and well suited for defensive and service use. It has the perfect combination of mild recoil and power. In a gun like the 327 TRR8, the .357 Magnum shoots softly. The revolver weighs over 30 ounces, 850 grams, and features a 5-inch, 12.7 centimeters barrel. Eight rounds of .357 caliber ammunition is no laughing matter at all, and SW designed the revolver so that Luna magazines can be used with it for quick reloading. You can mount a bar under the barrel for flashlights and lasers, and there is a long bar on top for mounting optics. Unlike automatic weapons, you can mount almost any size optic on this revolver, including full-size sights. The revolver is big, powerful, and equipped with all the trickery that SW has in their performance center arsenal. This includes the performance center trigger and fine-tuning of the gun's mechanism. The biggest disadvantages of this gun are its high price and the fact that its drum holds only 8 rounds, while the world's standard capacity is 15 to 19 rounds.